guys, so today I'll be doing a simple video on uh, how to operate the rough terrain crane. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video at the end of the everything. So yeah, so uh, before I go on to our videos actually, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. So I subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up like, alright? Then uh, smash the like button. Hope you like the video. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos like this. So yeah. Short introduction, this is the rough terrain crane from Tadano. It's a GR600EX. It's a rough terrain crane. Um, okay. So to start off, okay, let me introduce you to the control panel. Okay, this is the dashboard of the crane. Okay, we have the fuel gauge, alright, the temperature gauge, the coolant gauge, the speedometer, gear indicator, the um, Tachometer, the gear oil temperature, the air pressure. This is for the brakes. Then the warning panel. Uh, okay, so that's about it for the dashboard. It's very simple. Um, okay, over here, because over here is very obvious. We have the steering wheel compared to the crane that I drove, which is the truck crane, which doesn't have steering wheel because the steering wheel is over at the front cabin. So yeah, this is the steering wheel, the horn, okay, the, this is the light, the signal stock, okay, you see? Yeah, so, and this is the light, the light switch, alright, this is the wiper, okay, 
Okay. Exhaust brake. Then, okay. Over here we have the switch for the side window. Okay. Okay, this is unique to the rough tank crane. I'm not sure you can see it over here. All right. For your drive, very important on sites that have a very poor con ground condition. The low gear, four wheel drive, high gear, four wheel drive. Okay. Then this is the emergency, emergency stop switch, parking brake. All right, current is engaged. Steering modes. Okay, we have four steering modes front wheel steering, all wheel steering, crab steering, rear wheel steering. Okay, over here we have the computer panel. This is the we call it the, uh, the AML, the automatic moment limiter from Tadano. Okay, so we start from here. This is the limits. We set the limits for the crane, whereby actually is the the how is it? The height limits, the radius limit, the degree limit, and whatnot. Can't do it. Still gonna use it because uh, the cutter is fixed. Hook the number of pop lines. Okay, currently you're using the small hook. You can see it's one wire. Okay, we choose the big hook, which is the settings now is currently a four, which is correct. Alright, it's four wires. Okay, just enter. That's it. The type of boom used. Currently we're using of the, the rooster head, the small line. Alright, the auxiliary hook. The main hook, which is four which is the big hook. Alright, Jeep setting. The Jeep, 10 meter Jeep, 3.5 degrees angle, 35 degrees angle, 45, the length, 17, 3.5, 35, 45. Now we're back to the big hook, auxiliary hook, enter. That's it. Okay, over here you can see, over here, this is the current weight of the cargo. Alright. The maximum tonnage you can carry. Uh, you can carry. You can see that this this is coming on setting two. I will, I will show you in in future, All right? Setting two. The auxiliary hook. The orientation of the crane. Uh, and the fuel consumption. The boom length. The boom length. Boom degree. And the radius. So I think for this, that's about it. Oh yes, this very important. Green zone is where we're looking at, right? Green zone, very important. Yellow zone is 80% of the lifting capacity. Red means it's 100%. You cut off. Uh, okay, over here we have the, the, the free swing. I'm not sure you can see it. Uh, yes, this free swing. Okay, I'll show you how the free swing works. Anyway, no, no one? No, there's someone. So, no, can't swing. So yeah, the free swing is something like if you leave a cargo and turn and you just let go of the lever, it stops going. It won't stop on the dot. You you, you come to a slow a slow stop, and it's much easier to lift and uh, cargo. Then uh, as you can see this, uh, yeah. the grip button is for selection for the this small lever. Yeah. Okay, this is currently is uh, it's. We do it. We using these settings. Whereby using this lever to control the auxiliary hook. All right, down, up. Okay, see. Now it's down. All right. Okay. Okay. How about up? Up. Okay and simple. Uh, okay. If you notice, there's this button over here. This for extension of the boom. You press it when when the Okay, you press it when you want to extend the 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 how say the big boom. I will see for us we call it the big boom, the main boom. Because currently now you, now you are now at setting two, so we, the the last three boom is not currently extended. So if you click on this and we extend the boom, the last section will be extended. This is the horn. I will click it. It's very hot. It's very loud on the screen because it's an air horn. So the the swing. Okay, sorry, to, we don't deviate. So over here, we have the, what's it called, the, 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 the swing lock, 
Alright, swing lock. This is important when the crane is in, in uh, transport mode to prevent the crane from moving around. Alright, the limit switch. Okay, limit switch. This limit, this limit switch is for actually the, 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 the safety feature. It prevents the over hoisting of the wires to, to prevent damage to the pulleys and whatnot. And PTO. Okay, this is very important. If we switch it off, you see? All crane operation stops. So to 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 actually to to start the crane operation, all right, you have to engage the turn on the PTO. PTO stands for power takeoff. It's for the it's for you to control all the hydraulics, everything. And yeah, this is the AML. The we call it the bypass switch. It's supposed to be switched off. Okay, over here we have the outrigger control panel. This is the. Selection for the types of uh, the, 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 how you want to retract or extend our riggers. Okay, currently now you have the our riggers, they are extended. Right, see? Okay, to let's say the queen we want to convert into transport mode, we retract. So we choose what type, of, which part of the leg we want to retract the, uh, the jacks or the legs. So currently you have to retract, you have to retract the, 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 the jacks first. Okay, if this switch is left it on just like that, we have the warning switch, you can hear it. Alright, you can hear the warning. Okay, to turn it off. Okay, so what we do first is to retract the jacks first. And after that's done, we retract the leg. So how do we retract? We can, we can choose it individually. One, two, three, four, or all at the same time. See? All at the same time. This is the front left outrigger, the front left jack or front left outrigger, front right, left rear, right rear. Okay, so it's a, it's a very simple operation. Um, for new operators, when you're first using this, it'll be quite confusing, but after some time, it's very useful, it's very good. Okay, the ignition switch, the idling speed control. You can choose to auto or you can choose to manual speed and this is very important for all operators all right the white right spirit level the spirit level it shows it tells you whether the crane is level before you start operations very important gear letter i'm sure this is most people who drive you find this very very similar to what you have what you can find in car reverse gear neutral drive gear two gear one all right very simple okay now we have the the levers, right? As as been just now, swing, right? Auxiliary hook or boom control, uh, main hook, down. Oh, sorry, up, down. The swing, uh, the boom, the boom control for the boom, boom down, boom up. Okay, for for the leg control, we have the boom extension. I'm not sure you can see it, right? Hold on. Alright, I'm not sure you can see it. Yeah, good. <laughs> Alright, okay. Boom control, boom extension, retraction. For this, you have the full control for the boom control. For the boom down, boom up. Alright. Brake. This is the brake lever. Okay. The accelerator. So, yeah. That's about it. Oh yeah, very important. I'm not sure if you can see this. And this is the lock, the swing lock. This must be engaged when you are in traveling mode. So otherwise, the crane will swing around and hit things, and then that would be good. So yeah. Okay, we have this. Is the now she can see this wiper. Cleaning for the cleaning for the for the top panel. Currently, I have the, this shield on, so we won't be able to see it. All right, wiper control, the light control. Currently, it's off. Eco mode. Okay, this is the bypass switch for the control of the outriggers. Sometimes the outriggers, the sensors are faulty, so we have to use this. Okay, currently, this is the settings for the jeep. All right, the jeep. Currently is mounted, you can see this. Right? It's currently mounted. So yeah. 
so the setting is correct. All right, uh, aircon panel. Okay. Uh, temperature gauge. Uh, temperature control. Type mode. The uh, fan speed. Fan speed. AC on or off. The uh, internal circulation or ventilation mode. Off switch. So I think. Alright, I think that's about it. Very simple queen control. So yeah, you can see actually for the rough terrain we have this extra steering wheel. So for rough terrain we drive the crane, we operate the crane all from this cabin. Alright, for the crane I drive, which is the truck crane, it's different. We drive the crane from the from the front cabin. Right, you can see some some videos of mine where actually we drive the crane to the side on the front cabin Then we operate the crane from another cabin which is crane cabin It's very similar to this, I'll do another video uh, For the rough turning crane like this, uh, we drive the crane, operate the crane off from this cabin Alright, so you can see actually we are pretty high up Alright Okay, for rough terrain it's very useful in sites that have a very poor ground conditions um, different kind of condition uh, like, 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 like some sites where we have the, the ground is not even and what not I will show you a video of the of the height difference of the tires the size the, the size difference of the tires which is huge it's very different it's about I think 1.75 meters which I think is I think about 5 feet 5 foot 5 feet 4 I think um, yeah Okay, so I think that's about it. Maybe I'll show you a video of me operating uh, later. Because currently the size on standby, so there's nothing much. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this space very simple video. So yeah. Come on, bitch, let's go. 